Hi there, Sophie Zolman here. I'm in my Harry Potter office on this very last day of 2019. It's the end of a year, it's the end of a decade. Tomorrow we ring in 2020, the new year and the new decade. And as I have been here in my office uh, working the past few days and weeks of 2019 and spending time reflecting on everything that I have accomplished in 2019, and everything I plan to accomplish in 2020, I have to say that overall, 2019 was a fantastic year. Uh, despite starting out a little rough, I uh, got through it, I moved on, I created a, a new business structure and a new business model for uh, Sophie Zoe Virtually There For You that I absolutely adore that is a better place for me to be, so to speak, and allows me to serve more fantastic entrepreneurs and business owners in achieving the, their dreams, their goals, and, and the lifestyle they want to create for themselves. Um, it also allows me to achieve my dreams and goals and the lifestyle I wanna create for myself uh, now and in the future. I'm very excited about everything to come I, I have to say that I'm actually grateful for the big bump in the road that I hit in early January this year. Uh, I took 24 hours to mourn it, so to speak, to uh, feel all the emotions of, of the uh, situation that was not the most fun in the world, but it really was a blessing. It is what sparked everything that happened in 2019. Um, in my business, but also in my personal life because I, you know, it taught me a lot of lessons. I learned from it. I've grown from it and, and I'm, I'm better for it and my business is better for it. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for my husband and his excellent support that he's always given me. But once that struck in January, he stepped up even bigger and better. Uh, and I love him dearly for it. And my friends, my colleagues, my coach, David Nagel, and his team, Steph Tuss, Sarah Murphy, Liz Kelly, Brandon Tuss, and the David Nagel community, they have all been there for me, supporting me, coaching me, um, and helping me stay, you know, in the right mindset and to, to continue to grow and learn and make things happen. And so I'm excited for what's to come in 2020. Uh, and I'm grateful for the new year that's coming and all the promise that it holds. And so on that note, I wish every one of you a happy new year and may 2020 be the best year of your lives and may the next decade bring in love, joy, abundance, and everything that you hope for.